Google Assistant accessibility videos. Setup made for Google Smart Light independently. Hello and welcome. I am Kiran Kaja and I am the accessibility lead for Search and Assistant. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a C-Life by GE smart bulb, which is made for Google. The made for Google badge signifies that a product has been designed and made by one of our leading product partners. Whether it's an accessory for your Pixel, earphones, or a new product for your smart home, you can be sure that it works with your Google device and meets our compatibility standards. I am blind myself and I use a screen reader. I can use the Google Home app to set up these lights independently. I don't have to rely on a third-party app which may or may not be accessible. I have a desk lamp here that I'd like to control with my Google Home. I've installed the C-Life by GE Smart Bulb in the desk lamp and I'll now use the Google Home app on my phone to set it up. For this demo, I'm using the Google Home app on an iPhone and I have the voiceover screen reader running. But you can also do this on an Android device with the TalkBack screen reader. I'll now go ahead and open the Google Home app. Google Home, more options, button. I'll find the account tab in the bottom right corner. Account, button. I'll swipe right until I get to set up device. Set up device, button. I will double tap to open it. Selected, exit setup. I'm setting up the lights in the collab, so I'll go ahead and select next. More options, button. I'm using right swipe to move linearly through the screen. Multiple devices found. Heading. Choose the device you would like to set up. Set up some smart lights. Button. We are setting up some smart lights, so I'll select that option by double tapping it. Selected. Set up some smart lights. I'll find the next button and activate it. Next. Button. Next. Dim. Exit setup. Button. Turn on your smart light. Heading. Make sure it's turned on and in the same room as your Google Home device. I will now turn on the light. And then I will select the next button. Next button. Double tap to activate it. Pick a smart light to set up. Heading. The smart light you pick will blink slowly. GEC Life 6876. Button. That is the one I'm looking for, so I will double tap it to select it. Selected, GEC Life 6876. I will then navigate to the setup button and activate that. Where is this device? Heading. Choose a location for GEC Life. This will help you organize your devices. I will select family room. Family room, button. Selected, family room. I'm going to find the next button, which is typically at the bottom right corner of the screen and double tap it. Next button. Double tap to activate it. Create a unique name, heading. Give your light a unique name so you don't mix it up with other devices in the same room. I'm going to name the bulb desk lamp. Clear text button. I'll activate the next button. Next button. Exit setup button. Button. Desk lamp is ready. Heading. Done. Button. That's it. I'll activate the done button. Done. More options. Button. Now that the smart bulb is set up, I can use the Google Home to control it. For instance, Hey Google, is the desk lamp on? The desk lamp is on. Turn off the desk lamp. You got it. Turning off the desk lamp. As you noticed, it's pretty straightforward to set up a new smart home device. As more made-for-Google devices become available, I will highlight them in future episodes of this series. Meanwhile, check out the rest of the videos in this series linked in the description below to learn more about accessibility features in Google Search and the Google Assistant. We love to hear from our users. If you have questions, comments, or feedback on accessibility of Google products, please get in touch with us by email at disability-support at google.com or go to google.com slash accessibility for more accessibility support options.